Now you can really hear everything. Welcome to Pandora. Pandora is in Disney's Animal Kingdom. It is a brand new land that opened May of this year, 2017. And we're here to explore it today. There's two attractions, quick service location, lots of fun drinks. We'll check it out. What's that over there? Oh. <laughs> Floating mountains. Yes, people. Real life floating mountains. I can't wait to see this stuff at night. All this stuff that glows. Hello? I love all the noises. Yeah. It's so cool. You wanna walk down here? I don't know what's down here. Yeah, it's, it's just a...
<laughs> this building is so bizarre. Up the stairs in A3. I guess we look healthy enough to do more stairs today. <laughs> <laughs> <We're just deficit>. <laughs> <laughs> Done way too many. I do more stairs on this vacation than I do at my house. What, what did she say? What did he say? Oh shoot, six what and oh no, I don't okay. remember. All systems. I'll go ready. around. I think we're six and Stand seven. We're seven and eight. Standing by. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like crap, and I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> oh. Yeah, like he said numbers. I was like, yeah, ten four. Oh, I think we're facing. <laughs> Once you found your number, please make sure everybody can see the screen. That's oh, so cool. Like it lights up when you like when you step on it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Prepare systems for the next group. All systems engaged. And welcome to the Avatar program. Soon, you're gonna have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi Rite of Passage, riding on the back of a Banshee by being genetically matched and linked to an Avatar. Using Avatars to fly this way was all figured out by my boss, Dr. Jackie Ogden. She leads her science team, which is part of the Pandora Conservation Initiative, and we're here in the Valley of Moara studying Banshees and their environment. Over a generation ago, this enormous company called the RDA created a lot of damage to the area through their bad mining practices and conflicts with the Navi. Just like on Earth, it can take decades for ecosystems to recover. One way to understand what's going on with an ecosystem is to study what are called keystone species. These are animals like tigers, jaguars, seals. The banshee is one of these important animals. Dr. Ogden is the foremost expert on studying the Ikron and has spent years researching them. Unfortunately, banshees live high in rookeries and humans can't get anywhere near them without <laughs> becoming their lunch. But the Na'vi and avatars can. In fact, the Na'vi have been riding on the backs of banshees since their earliest history. Thanks to science, avatars can ride on banshees too. That's why you're linking to an avatar. It was Dr. Ogden who restarted the Avatar program. It's because of her that you're able to go through this rite of passage today. Pandora is a breathtaking natural world. I cannot wait for you guys to see it for yourselves. Okay, to get you flying on a banshee, we need to find each of you an avatar. Um, let's uh, prep the genetic sampling. I'm on it. Okay, um, first we need to find the compatible match of your genetic material with the genetic material of one of the avatar bodies that we already have. Once we do that, you'll be able to link to that avatar and uh, fly. <laughs> Help us out and move around a bit. Almost. Yes, got him. Now, let's find you your avatar matches. <laughs> You've all been matched with avatars. I'm a chick. Uh, <laughs> when the door opens, please go inside, all the way in, and stand over the same number that you're standing over now. And uh, and I'll see you in there. All right. Six. Don't forget my number this time. Thank you. Now place his own into your fully seated on your lane chairs. Thank you. There you go. Oh. I'm four. No, I'm five. No, we're. Wait. Wait, I'm six. No, you're five. Because I'm six. <laughs> I don't even. I didn't even put it on there. Oh, I missed. Okay. right here now. Just keep in mind as we're inside the link room, there is no picture taken or video recording. Great. Mm -hmm. You've all made Bye. All right, guys. We just got off flight of passage. Oh my gosh. Sorry we couldn't show it to you, but you don't let you film after a certain point. Um, but pretty much right after I cut off the filming, that's when we got on the ride. And you sit on these bike looking things, they strap you in, you have goggles on. Couple spoilers here, so you don't want to hear them. Go away. <laughs> but uh, amazing. It's a unique experience. 
Absolutely for sure. It's, I would say, game changer as far as technology goes in the Disney parks when it comes to ride experiences. It's not just a visual experience, but sensual. Sen sensory. Sensory. Full, sen full sensory experience. <laughs> All the senses. Yes. So you smell, you feel, you feel in different yeah. different ways. You you feel the banshee moving yeah, uh, you as you're feel sitting it breathing. on it. I do not like roller coasters. There is drop feeling in this ride a lot. I handled it just fine. I was like, whoa, like the whole the whole ride, but I loved it. There's so a couple of those moments. There's a couple like, of those moments. Like, like, drop feeling moment. But if you have those, if you, if you're like me and you're not a big fan of those, just close your eyes for a sec and you'll be fine. Yeah. But really I was a hundred percent fine. It just, it is definitely a more intense ride than the river journey is over an avatar. So 10 out of 10, <laughs> you, need, you need to ride the ride. Highly recommended. Need to ride it. Like make it a must do when you're visiting Animal Kingdom. Worth the wait. We waited yeah, 100 we, in, 100 minutes. 100 minutes it said, so about an hour and a half, yeah. I would say maybe an hour and 40 minutes. Um, the line was beautiful as you can see in the Yeah. Yeah, the line was entertaining. Yeah. I mean, you're definitely standing in line, but there's lots to look at and there's lots to keep you occupied. So, um, it, just amazing. So cool. So cool. Lots to look at. Just ride it. Wow, Banshee. Oh, so it's like a headband and this goes forward, okay. Interesting, interesting. This is one of those things you go like. Oh, here we go. Intergalactic passport kit. Don't leave the galaxy without it. There you go. Some good marketing for you. <laughs> Face painting. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's kind of neat. Yeah, I like the way they displayed it. It's cool. Alright, we have the Night Blossom. We got it at Pongu Pongu, which is right there. Ooh, perfect it already. So, passion fruit boba balls, limeade, forget the other flavors. I'll put them somewhere. It's good? You can taste the lime like right off the bat. It's so good. And the bobas, they're not like real bobas. They um, are just pretty much little things <laughs> filled with um, passion fruit juice. So if you're scared of boba like me, they're fine. <laughs> mm. I figured out why I like it so much. Because it tastes like rainbow sherbet. <laughs> Sean said that, and I was like, that's right! Cherry it's limeade so good! Cherry limeade mixed with rainbow, rainbow sherbet. sherbet. Like if you made a cherry limeade rainbow sherbet float. With passion fruit juice both. Bobas. With boba. So good. Okay, so now we're heading into the canteen here. Thank you. You want to hold that? Thank you. I'm like <laughs> dropping it. We're heading into the canteen, and we're going to pick up our food that we actually ordered online. Hi, we ordered online. So where do we? If you just stick to the left hand side and okay. keep walking, it'll be up there. All right, perfect. Fast Thank pass. you. <laughs> Fast pass to my food. Food into my belly. We had, wait, did you say this way? Yes, left. Mobile order. Mobile order pickup. So you guys can order your food on the My Disney Experience app here. It's one of two restaurants in the whole park right now that does that, um, including um, Pizza Safari, also in Animal Kingdom. So you order online, you pay on your app, and then you come in here, and your food is ready for you to pick up really quickly. So we're excited to eat. Okay, okay so I got two kids' meals because 
I like the idea of the kids' meals today. <laughs> the portion but size is because <laughs> I wanted it. It's the portion size good for me here. So this is a cheeseburger steam pod, and it came with some grapes and some vegetable chips. And then I also got the hot dog croissant, also with grapes and vegetable chips. And then Sean got the regular adult meal here. Um, but two cheeseburger steam pods and chips and some sort of vegetable melody. It's coleslaw. Coleslaw? Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> they used a fancier word for it when I ordered it on the website, but it's coleslaw. And, and then chips, um, yeah. the kids' meals came with little waters, and it also comes with, I believe, milk if you choose to pick that up. So let's dig in. So this is the cheeseburger pod. To me, I don't taste too much cheese. It's definitely not like a super cheesy cheeseburger flavor. Almost like sloppy joe texture inside here, but definitely good flavor and really good. Um, another side note, make sure if you're ordering online that you're in the line um, and ready when it's uh, ready to be picked up because we were probably about 10 minutes or so late when, um, to our order because we were ordering our drink. And um, it probably was a little bit warmer um, when we should've. were, yeah, when we should have picked it up versus <laughs> when we actually did. It's definitely not cold, but uh, make sure you're there on time because they do um, throw out your order. They told us after five minutes, so just a heads up. So I realized I said croissant, but it's actually just a hot dog wrapped in dough. So it's a little bit more like a pretzel kind of texture versus a croissant, but still really good. I did not wait in the line for the river journey the other day just because it was really long and we already waited in a really long line to get on flight of passage. So um, Sean is back um, doing some laundry today. Um, and since I have my annual pass, I figured I'd jump back in and see if I can get in there. So the line right now is 95 minutes. So we'll jump in and see how it goes. You want to say hi? You can say hi into it in a second if you want. So, wait. <laughs> one hour and five minutes down for Navi River Journey. Not Flight of Passage. Did that the other day. I made some friends. You want to say hi? Hey. <laughs> you make friends in line when you wait for long periods of time. <laughs> Real good, real good friends by the end of this line. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hopefully a half an hour to go. Maybe less, right? <laughs> Maybe less. <laughs>
river journey. A beautiful ride. Everything glowed so beautifully and the animatronic at the end though. Make sure to check it out. So, spending a little bit more time here today. There's so much to see here. You can really just keep wandering around and see something new every time that you visit. Something like a new plant. Something new that lights up. Something new that moves. Found those missing plants earlier. So cool. Kind of want to spend more time here. But now I gotta go. So I gotta wait until I'm back in the fall. <laughs> Take three.